welcome back to more Bleach. I am here with my reaction to episode 11. Now in the last episode, I kind of said to you guys it felt a little bit fillerish, and then I checked the filler page or whatever you want to call it and it wasn't, so apologies for that. I just got a vibe from that episode, that's all. Not that it meant that it was a bad episode, I still thought it was fun regardless. Okay, now don't forget if you want to watch this unedited to head on over to my website suzilu.co.uk or my Patreon. The link is in the description as always. All right, let's do this. Rukia and Ichigo. This is very serious. Never in the history of this school has any student ever dishonored this institution by committing such an act of civil disobedience. Mr. Kagine? Oh my god. I mean, if we could just get a second to explain, you know. You were there with them the whole time this was going on! That was a coincidence. We were just walking by and suddenly got dragged into the whole mess. Great, thanks a lot. I'll remember this the next time you need someone to bail you out. Yeah, exactly. You could have backed us up there, sis. Yeah, me too. I've got some Not homework- so fast, Mr. Asano. You were there with him, yet you did nothing to stop him, so you're just as guilty as Ichigo. For the record, why would they try and stop them when they had all the security there taking down Ichigo anyway? Like, what were they supposed to do? The whole thing's all my fault. Go ahead and punish me. Uh, please don't cry, Rukia. Oh, I, sure I know what she's doing have. there. Okay, everybody out. No, oh, great. Now Rukia Kuchki's gotten away too. What should we do? Just do me a favor. When you do find Ichigo, could you get his autograph for me? <laughs> get his autograph? Well, I mean, technically, he was on TV. And that TV show was huge. So he's a star. Actually, I kind of enjoyed putting on the big act and fooling Mr. Kagine, so no thanks necessary. But you have to know, I would never sell out a good friend like Ichigo. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, come on. He didn't even believe her for a second. I thought she was being legit. Would you guys excuse us for just a minute? <laughs> well, that's weird. Huh. I never noticed before, but... Hmm? Those two seem to like each other, don't they? Oh, no! Her heart's gonna be totally broken. Yeah, exactly. I mean, from the outside, those two do spend a hell of a lot of time together, so I feel kind of bad for her. I'm not sure what you mean by a hollow, but I sure did see something scary. This thing was so big, it looked like a huge slimy black bug. When I saw it, I almost peed my pants! <laughs> Since you can describe the hollow so clearly, no doubt, then you must have also seen who killed it and how. Well, not really. Oh, maybe we should have a different approach with this guy. He's really scared. Well, it's Konso time, I suppose. Uh-huh. Oh, what's a Konso? What are you gonna do? No, no, get that sword away from me, no! Listen, we're doing you a favor. We're sending you where you belong. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a stalker. Pretty smart for a girl, Orohime. <laughs> this sucks. Orohime has both brains and boobs. It's just not fair. If it makes you feel better, she's a terrible cook. <laughs> I gotta say, though, yeah. Brains and boobs. God, I can't relate on either of those. <laughs> Take another look. Hmm? What? 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 Ichigo is ranked number 23! Wait, is that a good thing? You always said you were too busy, but the truth is you were studying like a total nerd! No, Wait. no! I'm friends with a nerd! Maybe you need some thick nerd glasses like these? Wait a minute, so you're complaining that you're friends with a nerd, but you're sad that he was smart enough to get 23? Like, which side are you on? Well, at least you wouldn't go and do something embarrassing like score in the top 50, right, chat, old pal? <laughs> Number five. Oh! Okay, okay. He seems like the intelligent type anyways. I've never even heard of him. That's Uryu. Uryu Ishida. You mean you know him? Yeah, of course. He's in our class. 
It, You'll find that Ichigo has an uncanny knack for forgetting people's faces and the names that go with them. To be honest, I was the exact same when I was in school. If you weren't in my group of, say, five, I didn't know you. Like, you just didn't exist on my radar. I need Udahara to come and take a look at the soul page. I mean, how am I supposed to know if this stupid thing is working right or not? <laughs> well, it's clearly working, okay? Ichigo! Huh? Come here, I need you! That Rukia sure is one aggressive chick. She really needs to stop doing this in front of all the other people, though, because other people are gonna get the wrong impression of these two. Just shut up and run. That's him right there. Oh! That's okay, he brushed you off. I thought for a second he was gonna be like, oh, yes. <laughs> Bickering, are we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, well, we may not have found him, but he found us. Nice outfit, though. Oh, another hollow has just appeared. No way. Wait, maybe they're not a hollow, maybe they're, um, a soul reaper? It's over there. Mm -hmm. Can you not say such a simple thing? And you call yourself a soul reaper. Hey, kill him, he knows too much! <laughs> what? This guy is so cool! What? What the heck? <gasps> Ichigo was quick. They didn't even sense that thing. I'm a Quincy. Soul Reapers are my enemies. Oh! Just what do you mean? Is that too complicated for you? I'll tell you again then, slower this time. Ichigo Kurosaki, you are my enemy. Oh, but why? So you can see hollows and you can take them out as well. So then, why is Ichigo your enemy? You're clearly on the same side. And you call yourself a soul reaper. Can you not sense such a simple thing? Who does he think he is? Also, his VA! He's from Naruto. 100%, he's from Naruto. I just can't think who it is. It's a pretty cool name, huh? Uh, yeah, I was just saying it because it's such a cool sounding name. I agree. In fact, I say his name to myself all the time when I'm sitting with him in the home handicrafts club. I was gonna say, yeah, like, obviously he's in the same class as you. But I can't believe he's really in the home handicrafts club. Look at him. He's reading, not doing macrame. Yeah? You wait. It looks like Michiru's got a job for him. But he's far too intense for this. I have been wrong many times. What the hell? He should get into fashion. That is why his outfit looks so cool, you guys. Duh. In fact, don't talk to me anymore at all. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> everywhere you go, just making friends. Do you and Uryu have some kind of problem? Well, you could say that. But it's nothing I can't handle. That's good. I wish you would talk to her more. She likes you. I feel like she's really upset because she thinks that there's something going on between him and Rukia. And there's not. But I need to tell her. Oh, man. I gotta tell her. You heard me. It's obvious that you lack even the most basic ability to detect those around you with high spirit energy. How else can you explain the fact that you weren't even aware of my existence until today? Can you give him a break? He's kind of new. Very, very new to the Soul Reaper universe. If you were any good, you would have sensed mine. <laughs> I even know the day in mid-May when you became a Soul Reaper. And what? I know Rukia Kuchki's true identity. Okay, so what are you going to do with any of that information, huh? Spirit ribbons are the physical manifestation of spirit energy in the atmosphere. And... <clears throat> what is that? This is your spirit ribbon. Wait, so I have, like, one red one? 
Let's have a duel to determine which one of us is stronger, the Quincy or the Soul Reaper. I'll show you just how unnecessary Soul Reapers are in this world. Wait, so now there's this hierarchy between them. But at the end of the day, the main goal is to deal with the good and the bad hollows. So why are we wanting to fight each other? It's just kind of silly. I said it's not over till you win two out of three. Hey, you never said that before. No fair. No, Jesus, come in. <laughs> You're a horrible child. Leave that poor girl alone. He should do all the chores for that. He's a horrible little boy. I was just trying to teach her rock, paper, scissors. Like this on her face? Oh, hello there, Miss Kochki. I <laughs> see you come in. Is there something wrong with your foot? Yeah, I just tried to kick it up your ass and you're uh, quite heavy. I had to come in person because I've been calling for days with a major problem and you don't respond. Oh, sorry about that. It's just we've been really busy lately, but I was going to call you today. God, I hear that so often. <laughs> you know who you are, okay? So when is this duel between us supposed to take place? Right now. <laughs> Really though? Like, I guess it is a quiet street, but this just seems silly. I've never heard of Quincy's before, and I don't know what you have against Soul Reapers, but it's got nothing to do with me. What a surprise. You're afraid to fight. Forget trying to goad me into it. Besides, I'd mop the floor with you. Yes, be that bigger person. Walk away. If I'm not mistaken, it's been 200 years since I heard anyone speak of Quincy's. Well, who are they? Who were they, you mean? The last of the Quincy's became extinct centuries ago, but they were once a clan that specialized in killing hollows. Wait, that can't be though, because he's right there. They're still with us. Soul Reapers, as you know, seek to purify hollows with their Zan Pak Toe, and thereby allow them to pass over into the Soul Society. But the Quincy's believe that hollows deserved only destruction. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, okay, I understand. I, I thought that they had the same goal, and that's why it was confusing, but they don't. Quincy's literally just don't give a damn. Send them all to hell. The Quincy's couldn't understand showing such mercy, and eventually they began to hate the Soul Reapers for it. They were sure the only answer was to kill Hollows. They believed in doing so that they were avenging their fallen comrades. So basically, he wants to take out Ichigo because of his beliefs. And the more they take out, the more that maybe he can rise to the top. You trying to kill me? I don't care what Rukia says. Don't you ever do that to me again! Cough it up. Wait a sec! Forget what I said about the bag. You can put me back there and go... Oh no! Not Cole! <laughs> I mean, it's not cheating, it's just that's how we gotta do things just now. I'm about to give Mr. Handicraft some stitches to sew. Ah! I'll be over here! But why though? Cole has the moves too! He's good backup. Oh yeah! So the cool thing about that is we're bringing in like a whole different, not generation, but kind of people with the Quincy's. And it is kind of interesting though that he's saying that there shouldn't be any Quincy's now, but yet there's one right in front of Ichigo and he has this major problem with Ichigo. But as he said, like he is stronger because he knows a lot more than Ichigo does and he can see a lot more than he can as well. He should just teach him. But then if their actual beliefs are going in two completely different directions, then, you know, we all know that religious beliefs and whatnot, if you're on the other side, ultimately it always leads to war. That's just the way it is, unfortunately. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my reaction to this episode, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.